Pull that light. Oh, whoa. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> wow. In the end slate, as I was speaking, I was like, oh yeah, next episode we might find the shrine. We barely scratched the surface. <laughs> I was standing on the solution the entire time. Sas Kosa Shrine. The final shrine of the game. The final shrine of the game. Let's go in. Also, hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time and the time before it... Oh, and it's a major test of strength. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. We have been... We have been combing Hyrule Castle. And now we are at the final major test of strength. The major, major test of strength. And I am ready to do it. I am ready to do this up. Man. <laughs> I was standing right on top of the solution. That's amazing. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Because this is our 120th shrine. And, and that means... Oh, that means I'll get hit. Okay, let's use this spear on this guy. I, I want to kind of use up my my worst guardian weapons. Like, spears aren't that great with the, the uh, ancient build because they only have so much power to begin with that can be multiplied. Like, the less power you have, the less can be multiplied. That was a really good dodge. And so, they're, they're the worst weapons of the bunch. Although, I guess... I guess they do have the, the upside of being able to... Oh yeah, I can show this off. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, I found out you can you can actually flurry rush these guys, so I'll I'll give this a shot. Yeah, swords are are good, but the best ones are the axes because you can bow spin. Also, their base power is 60, so anything above that is just upside. Okay, come on, I want to show this off. Oh come on, I backflipped over it, but I know you can flurry rush it, and it looks really cool. There's another glitch I discovered too, which is going to be very difficult to uh to show off with. With this layout, I would have to do it in a water-based uh, test of strength, but I can show that off too. If you raise a platform underneath... Okay, wait. There we go. That's so cool. That is so neat. Um, if you raise a platform underneath one of the uh, the guardians while they are about to use their use their spin attack, they will it will cancel the animation. Oh man, I'm bad. It will cancel the animation of the uh, of the spin, but not entirely, because they, they have to do their jumping attack to break the ice. Um, but they're also trying to spin, so then they run at you while spinning, but it doesn't do any damage, and it's not the normal spin. Hello. You, do you want to do this? Do you really want to do this? I am the master. I am the absolute master of this. You can't, you cannot touch me. And even if you could, I have a really good, I have a really good uh, shield. So if I miss the timing, you're still gonna die. Man, what a what a great place to have for the final shrine of the game. I think this was even better. Uh, 72 power battle axe, very good. A bad sword and a better spear. But um. Yeah, this is a really good place to have as the final shrine. Better than the maze, in my opinion, because it's a major test of strength, which is what I've been about since the very beginning. Flame Blade, which is kind of worthless and bad. Uh, what can I drop for that? I mean, I have to drop something for it, because for 100% completion, all of the chests in um, in shrines have to be emptied, but it doesn't mean I have to keep it, so I'm, I'm going to keep this. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. If that were a Thunder Blade or an, an Ice Blade, my, I might consider it, but as it stands, I I don't think I need a Flame Blade. I'm also not gonna skip this, because this is the final orb of the game, so we get to see the animation, and we get to see any additional dialogue. Your triumph over the, over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero arises. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. You have, you have at last conquered all of our trials. Having fulfilled our purpose, we monks bestow upon you this, the warrant of the true hero. 
You must now depart for the Forgotten Temple? I... I know that temple. A gift from the monks. Side quest. Wasn't that the temple which with all the guardians in it? Are you... Oh, man, you're telling me that did serve it? Yes, it served a, big, a better purpose. A bigger purpose than what, we, than what we first thought. I thought it was really lame that there was a giant goddess statue and it didn't do anything. But it served something better. Man, that's great. So before we defeat Ganon, as I talk over a loading screen here, before we defeat Ganon, uh, we're going to find the final memory. And then we're going to depart with that final memory. And then we're going to depart for the, uh, the Forgotten Temple. I think that's how we should do it, because otherwise we then have to leave... We have to leave the area twice. We have to leave, uh, Hyrule Castle twice, and I don't want to do that. So, let's see, what is the way out of here? Is there a way out of here easily? Uh, let me pull up the map. We're down here. Uh... There are two exits to this. There's the one we just came in on, but then it looks like if we go up the stairs, there is actually another exit. Maybe behind the shrine? Man, that feels great. It's also great that it, we were standing on top of it in the end slate. And I was just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna light this. And in my mind, I was thinking it was a Korok seed. Even when, even when the little cutscene happened, before the shrine came up, I was thinking, oh yeah, it's probably just a weird barrel there. I, it's probably just a Korok seed. And then the ground started to rumble, and I realized, wait a minute. We found the shrine. <laughs> we found the 120th shrine. That's so great. Ah, oh, that's satisfying. So now our objective, well, we have we still have multiple objectives on earth. Library. A metal bookcase. Once again, a lot of these secrets are so multifaceted. Like the, the secrets have secrets. There's a secret entrance, but there, the exit is also a secret entrance. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's let's do, down some food here. Uh, what's our longest lasting? 10 minute triple is nice. 10 minute third or 30 minute uh, triple is also great. Uh, let's do 10 minute triple, I think. Yeah. And watch this guy melt. Three hits and he's dead. Hey, buddy! I missed him. Can I hit him in, in the tail? Oh, I can! What do you think of this? You better take those hits and not do anything. Oh, there's more. Man, this is a big library, and we have some we have some books to read. I'm happy about that. Where are we, actually? Over here. So the library leads to the final shrine. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. The shrines are, based, are shrines of courage and wisdom and power. And so it would make sense at a library that you find something dealing with wisdom. Die. Boop. And now if this guy ever comes down, I'll throw the spear at him. But as it stands, we have a book to read, which means more uh, more stuff for my, my waning voice. The royal family's secret recipe number one. The princess's favorite. Fruitcake. Because, l let's, let's be honest, Zelda's pretty much a f she's she's pretty crazy she's a, she's kind of a fruitcake and i don't mean it that way i mean she she's kind of crazy and insane boil any two or more pieces of fruit with tabatha wheat and cane sugar for a good while eating this dish will apparently clear your head and help you focus on things such as an ancient technology research and of course it would be for that reason and of course it would be sugar zelda would love her sugar uh, another secret what does this lead to it leads up Whoa. That's weird. Wait. A stone? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't a cobble crusher. Cobble crusher is the the normal weapon. What is a stone smasher? Two-handed weapon, forged from a rare metal mine and uh, do, do, do. Is this normal? I I thought it was a called a cobble crusher normally. Well, it's sweet, I'll give you that. Also, Behind the library, they were mining into nothing, which is odd and kind of creepy. But also, the uh, the spire, the Ganon spires, almost came up right through it. Kind of weird. Um, though I think we're we're actually gonna keep 
We're gonna keep the Royal Guards Claymore. It seems good. Even though it's apparently a glass cannon of a weapon, it does seem pretty good. And, okay, so we came in through there. There are no more secrets to be garnered from the bookshelves. Oh, never mind. I, I speak too soon. There are secrets to be garnered from the bookshelves. Get out of here. What's in here? An, a study? A king's study. Ooh. Will we get a king's jewel in here? We will. That's a pretty that's a pretty kingly gift. The writings of Rome Bosphorus Hyrule. <clears throat> Today, the, as the sun rose and a new day was born, my daughter too joined this sweet world. In keeping with the traditions of the royal family, I've decided to name her Zelda. I am not a man accustomed to frivolous mu musings, but it now seems as good a time as any to begin my royal memorandum. Re uh, reports keep arriving uh, regarding the excavation of relics. The fortune teller's predictions seem to be coming true. Calamity Ganon was not a, fix a figure of fable or even legend. He actually existed in our great land of Hyrule. We must investigate all the relics, learn as much as we can. But understanding the Divine Beasts alone will take time. Zelda's eyes lit up like a wildfire when I told her about the relics. I must admit, she has a knack for research. My queen has left the world. Her death was so sudden and unexpected, I awaken most nights unsure if she's really gone. Zelda never cried, never faltered. But even during the royal funeral, or later when she, she and I were alone in our grief, I must assume her strength is a result of us repeatedly informing her of her d duty to be a valiant and steady princess. For a child of merely six years old, her conduct was truly that of a born leader. Her strength gives me hope. From now on, I must raise her all alone. Now, only I remain to prepare her for her difficult future as Princess of Hyrule. Zelda's finally reported back after her visit from the fountain. It seems her sacred power has still yet to awaken. It has been a year and three months since her mother passed. Perhaps she is, still, she is head back, held back by heartache too deep to heal. If the Ganon prophecy wasn't looming over our heads, I would tell her to take her time, to wait until she is ready. But, for our, but our situation is dire and leaves no room for weakness, even on behalf of my beloved daughter. My heart breaks for Zelda, but I must act as a king, not a father. I must order her to train relentlessly at the fountain. I was told Zelda went off to research ancient technology, so I had no choice but to confront her about it. She claims she was simply doing her day off from training to indulge in a bit of research, but still I scolded her. She won't get it through her head, forcing me to tell her the same thing I have been repeating ad nauseum. The reason her sacred power still won't awaken is because she's spending all her efforts playing at being a scholar. In truth, I understand Zelda's feelings, painfully so. She lost her mother, her teacher, before she could learn from her. Ten pointless years of self-training, without so much as a book or note to help her find her way. Those in the castle talk behind her back, and I, her only family, scold her for her shortcomings. No wonder she wishes to hide away in her beloved relic research. I'd love nothing more than to consult her. But I must stay strong. She must fulfill her duty, just as we all must, even if she comes to despise me. I have been told by, I told my Zelda went to the Spring of Wisdom. This will likely be her last chance. If she's unable to awaken her power at Lineru, all hope is truly lost. If she, if she comes back without success, then I shall speak kindly with her. Scolding is pointless now. I force ten years of training on her, and after all that, it seems her power will stubbornly awaken some other way. Perhaps I should encourage her to keep researching her beloved relics. They may be just lead her to answers I cannot provide. For now, I sit anxiously, more a father than a king in this moment. I sit and await my daughter's return. And we know... Wow, I totally missed that. And we know from, from that, that that was the very day, the very day, that Ganon walked into the world. That Ganon showed up. What on earth? Uh, I don't want to actually hit you with that. I want to freeze you. Throw this. And then switch to this. Oh, are you kidding me? I canceled the animation. Throw that. That killed him. Well then, I'll take this and kill something else with it. That was... Ex I suppose... <laughs> To be fair, that that's probably not that far fetched. Uh, whenever you hit someone when they're frozen, it does three times damage, 
And whenever you uh, break a weapon, the final hit crits, dealing double damage. So, I, I might have gotten that reversed, but the same instance is five times damage. And when I have a 2.3 multiplier on top of all of that, it makes sense that when I'm dealing 7.3 points of da times the damage, that she that 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 guy's gonna die. He's gonna die. Boosh. Now that guy's not gonna die because he didn't get the entire bonus, but die. Cool. Oh, and we get we got another book. Sweet. Book time. The Royal Family Secret Recipe number two. Monster cake. Oh, this is where you find it out. That makes total sense. Because Terrytown's supposed to, well, it's not supposed to, but it's, they probably intended for you to complete Terrytown at the very last. And so, you would learn about monster, uh, the monster cake from here. Strew monster extract, Tabantha wheat, cane sugar, and goat butter for a spell. It's a dizzy, a dangerous dish that will make your head fuzzy and may even motivate you to plan evil schemes. Well, good to know. Good to know. If I ever want to plan some evil schemes, like my m mother did... <laughs> I'll eat to mount, or I'll eat monster cake. Okay, there's some torches here, but I'm ultimately heading down there. Uh, switch over to a a decent weapon. Whoa! The shockwave killed him. Man, this build's overpowered. Okay, where are there any other secrets to be had? I mean, there are certainly books like crazy, but no other recipes. No other anything. All right. Well, cool. I don't even know how far we are in the episode. This is kind of crazy. There's so much exploration to do. It's it's absolutely nuts. Can we go through here? Kinda? I guess? I mean, that's probably where they would hold a secret. Considering how rife this area has been with secrets and treasures. Where is the eye? Where is the eye? Oh, hello. Goodbye. Okay, so we're going through this backwards. This is technically the entrance. So let's let's run back up here and see what there is. We're still looking for the memory. Still looking for uh, both the recipes and the Royal Guard's armor. And I don't know if that's good, but we're trying to get 100% uh, completion, so it better be good. Oh, hello. Oh, you're right there. Oh, you're, you're kind of flying on the wall there. I mean, I'll gladly kill you. There. So this is the entrance to the library, huh? Rather odd entrance to be so secreted away, but I guess Hyrule Castle was a different beast back then. It, it was a completely different landscape. Uh, stasis. And throw it off. Ow! Why did you go that way? That was like the complete opposite direction of where you should have gone. Go! Stupid thing and its stupidness. Nadra's Scale. Odd treasure to find. Uh, I'm actually going to equip the... Because I'm pretty sure there's... There's probably a seed on top of one of these trees, maybe? No. No, there is not. There is not... Uh, there is not anything here. Okay, well, let's re-equip our armor then. Man, this, this place is such a proper dungeon. I... I, I regret... An aggro can't come. Um, I regret that you can't, that you can't, uh, or that the Divine Beasts aren't as complex as this dungeon appears to be. Because a lot of the, the Divine Beasts we could have completed in, like, an episode or two, if we really booked it. But this, I don't think, I mean, maybe you could just kind of climb straight for the finish line, but it seems rather far-fetched, even then, to say that. Especially when this is, like, four times the size of a Divine Beast. Okay, we're going to actually go back into the library, and we're going to go out the other entrance, because I, I think that, that that's leading somewhere. We have a chest on our way, which contains a silver rupee. We're getting rich from this. It's not why we're here, but we're certainly getting money to get paid. And it looks like there's... I mean, I could climb all the way around, but this is probably easier. There's an exit here. Yeah. An exit that isn't a frost blade. That's odd. Uh, do I want the frost? Frost blades are pretty good. Is it greater? It's a great frost blade. I might want to take that. 
It, it's offering some... Oh, actually, I can just straight up take it. Cool. Well, neat. And it's it's an attack up frost blade. How rare are those? Attack up 18. A 50 or 48 power frost blade. In fact, one I'm going to test out on this guy. Die, son! And then... Die, son! Man, he died quick. And they all carry bomb arrows. The, the game really wants us to have bomb arrows. Like... Look at, I have 195, and I, I think I entered with 100. Okay, kill, get him, and run up. Insta-killed. Oh. See that through there? There's a dude. And that dude. Wait. Okay, nothing here. That dude is going to die. Da 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 da. No no don't climb don't climb. Da 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 da. Linked. That's what you call someone killed by Link in a stylish way. Linked. Or, or if they were female, they were Linkled. And don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever forget Linkle. Linkle is the best Zelda character. What is the purpose of this? They gave us leaves. I don't know why. Okay. There's literally not no pers purpose to that. This seems like th where they would hide a secret. I mean, they give us a ton of weapons. So if you're running low on weapons, there you go. If you want some rusty weapons for that rusty build of yours, like I said a couple episodes ago, that thing, that build crits every attack because, you know, the weapons break every attack. Deals so much damage. Like, that's three, three damage times... Th three for critting that's that's nine whole damage and you critted them so like that's street cred right there okay so nothing in here nothing of note no chests it is it should be a note as well that oh hello that um the ex chests are our metal so we can see them hello rusty claymore is my reward i i have a feeling that the rusty... Oh, that's a real reward. I have a feeling that if, if a lot of these rusty weapons were to be restored with uh, with the uh, Octorox, that they would yield the... What, what do you call it? The the Royal Guard series. That's just my thought. Um, what's through there? A torch. Yeah, this is getting really open-ended. Makes me ner <laughs> it makes me nervous we're going to see a dark nut, which would would make me very happy. I don't think there are dark nuts in the game, but to see one, I would be extremely happy. Oh, hello. Uh, Royal Guard Sword. Looks like it it's trying to trick people into thinking it is the Master Sword. And Royal Guard's uniform, a dignified uniform for Royal, Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's made from lightweight materials that are, and is both stylish and practical. It's a rather rare find. And a sword. I can bow spin with this. I at least want to see what the sword does. It's 48 power, so not entirely worth it. But still, it's of note. If you want to uh, use a build that is very strong but not as overpowered as the ancient build, um, or just if you if you value durability above, sup? What do you have? Really, a silver spear? Um, there's food everywhere. I think there's only one way to end this. There we go. Die die uh, and then I'm gonna grab all the food what was I saying oh yeah if you want a, a build that's a little bit more durable than the the first build or than my build then go with that okay let's pick these guys off now you're dead you're dead you're dead and you should be dead too oh you're not dead you die you die sweet man there's a ton of food in here Kinda expecting a food fight. Also, a variety of random weapons. Uh, grab that. Oh, uh, wait, what, what was that? Bunch of mushrooms. Man, this area would have been glorious in its heyday. Like, yeah, there's some kind of random garbage food now, but this this place is huge. Could you imagine the picnic you'd have here? 
a Mulduga fan? <laughs> because of course they're eating Mulduga fans. Where did they even get that? That's like, that's like caviar, basically. Can't go up there. You hear that? At random points, I've been hearing kind of a glow sound effect. Like there's a, a goddess statue nearby. Which would make sense, but at the same time, we have not seen a goddess statue around here. Or maybe it's part of the orchestra, that's that's also possible. Okay, this should lead, yeah, just right out in the hall. Uh, I guess I should look for Korok seeds, or not. Uh, bef before I head down that hall, let's at least go onto this landing. And just see... Let's see, is there anything to be seen here? There's a, cur a turret down. There's a turret there. There are turrets everywhere, I guess. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really... In oh, wait. Where are we? There's a hill which leads to the next level. Okay, so we need to remember this, at least. And I also want to see... Is it possible to place one of these? It is. How do we warp... <laughs> okay, so in order to warp to that, we would have to leave and then come back. Which is a bit awkward, but at least the option is there. It's still really awkward. Okay, so we can go down here. I left that travel gate there, so if we need to warp back, we can. I would kind of like to find the memory this episode, but this also may not, this may not happen. Uh, you, sir, can take a freeze, and then let me eat a power food again. Uh, not a short one. What's, I guess we're just going to eat a 30-minute... Power boost? Yeah. Freeze. And then... Die. And accidentally use Zerbos' Fury. Cool. It looks like there's nothing in here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find the memory this episode. There's the, there's the glow sound effect again. Huh. We're either close to something, or it's just part of the orchestra. I'm not exactly sure which is which. Can't throw any, go, any th go through any doors here. There is one way out of this room. Just make sure there's no doodads here. Don't see anything. Okay, moving on. Hello! You, nice dodge. Can you dodge that? I don't think you can. Okay, so where are we? Are we... Observation room. Okay. This looks like it could be a secret. A thunder blade. Yeah, this is a secret. Pull that out. I was expecting that to move. But I guess this isn't Wind Waker. Okay, shoot that. And... Yeah, we're probably not going to find the memory. Which is sad. I was really hoping to find that, but... Unless we see something within like the next few minutes... I don't think it's going to happen. Oh boy. Shot of the century. Oh, <laughs> first try. First try. I hit it. And again, I'm not seeing... We'll, we'll take a look at the picture one more time before I end off this fourth... Fourth, I think? Third, fourth, and final episode of the batch. And maybe if we see it, we can beeline our way over there. So here, let's let's look at the picture one last time before I end off the episode. Okay, so there's a gate and then a gatehouse and then a bluff. So looking at that with the outside of uh, outside of the castle being on the right, that would mean that it would be counter or it would be counterclockwise past the the gatehouse. So let's look at the map here. Yeah, I just spent five minutes studying the map, and I have no earthly idea on of where it could be. Um, and and here's my here's my thought process on that before I end off the episode and this recording session. Meaning that any comments you might have made during uh, this, even though I made a last call, might be considered for the next coming episode. Just don't spoil too much. But I would like to know where I can find that um, at least like the vague level that I can find that that uh, memory on but here's my my vague thought process what I've been looking for here was one of the um, the ramparts that 
had a circular, uh, I forgot what they were called, the circular, like, um, gazebo type thing with a stairwell down towards the door, but also no second level on that, that, um, that circle. So, like, if you look at it here, if you look at it there, that is circular, but it has something on top of it. Um, but also... I was looking for a bluff with something behind, with something mounted on it. And going to the map here, there are very few possibilities of where that could be, but none that really fit the description that I can see from Layman's perspective. Um, it could be right, uh, it's hard for me to point with this, uh, right where my cursor is, closest to us could be it, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, it definitely has to be, we, we're having to look this way for it, no matter what. Um, because it to the right is um, is the moat, so it, it makes sense that you, no matter where you look, you have to be looking um, counterclockwise with it, or else it just doesn't work. So that is my that is my theory. But you guys are gonna have to give me some in indication. All right, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we're gonna be finding the final memory of the game. Hopefully. Continuing to explore the castle, probably heading up to the, the second level, which I don't think we have breached thus far, and making it that much closer to the very, very end of the game. Stocking up on supplies, defeating powerful enemies, and continuing to strengthen ourselves. And remember, after we find the final memory, we're going to be making a quick departure out of the castle, and we're going to be going um, to both talk to Impa because she said she had something to give us when we had uncovered all the memories, but also going back to the Forgotten Temple to find the gift from the monks. And all that will happen before the end. Okay, I'll see you guys next time for another Monday or Wednesday for another episode of Skyward Sword. Thank <laughs> you.